Did you feel the weight of what this team was going through when you went out there tonight? Yeah, um, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think, um, yeah, we've had some pretty um, devastating losses the past uh, few games, games that, that we should have won that um, we just weren't able to get done. So, um, yeah, I mean, um, I, I think that, that was a very important game for us. What was your mindset when you came into game two here and you helped yeah. lock this down? I mean, I was just going to go as long as I could. Um, knowing that obviously we, we used some guys the first game that were going to be unavailable. So um, I was just try to give as much length as I could and, um, and just go from there. Aaron said you had a little bit of a discussion before you went out to finish the game. Was there any question in your mind that you were going to finish this? Uh, no, I mean, I think it is, I mean, obviously it's his decision, but as soon as he asked me if I was good to go, um, I, I said yes, and, and we just left it at that. Thanks, Chad. Yep. Brian Hope, go ahead. Hey, Chad, did you realize that was an immaculate inning that you struck out the side on nine pitches there? Uh, no, I, I, I didn't. Um, I, well, actually, I think somebody mentioned it to me. Um, I, I think Lucas mentioned it to me right after the game, um, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. I, I, I thought I threw four pitches to one guy, but uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, if it is, that's, that's pretty cool. So, What do you think was working so well for you tonight? Um, I, 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 I think being able to land the breaking ball um, behind in the count got me back into some counts, um, and I was able to get some quick outs uh, to, to keep the pitch count down. So. T Tom Merriam, please unmute. Do you think this win relaxes the team in some way? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Definitely, um, definitely when we go into an off day, you don't want a sour taste in your mouth, um, especially playing a doubleheader. Obviously, you're trying to win two. Um, came up short the first game. So, um, yeah, it makes, it makes sleeping a little easier tonight. Obviously, um, we know we have a lot of work to do still, um, but we'll reset on the off day and uh, get ready, get, get ready to, to play on Tuesday. So, Kenny Davidoff, you have the next question. Hey Chad, you came in game one, you got Tom Smith out. Yeah. What was your expectation at that point uh, in terms of staying in that game or, or leaving the get ready for game two? What, what, would, you know, what did you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I knew going into both games that they told me that um, I had a chance of throwing both games today, um, especially since I, I had um, a, well, a good amount of rest going into today. So um, I knew it was a possibility, um, and, I, and I knew that I could do it. I, I, I could throw twice in one day, so I, I didn't think that was going to be an issue. Um, so, I mean, after going in um, to get that one out, um, part of me knew that that was probably going to be it, knowing that we had used low for 40 pitches um, right before me, um, so he was going to be unavailable. So, um, yeah, that was kind of the mindset of get that one um, and then be ready for game two. Thanks, Chad. Go to Greg Joyce. Chad, how would you feel about the, the potential of closing? You know, this coming week, if Boone decides to let Chapman work through some things, it's you know lower leverage spots. No, I mean, I think, I mean, I think Chapman's, I think Chapman's the closer. Obviously, it's that's a discussion to be had if they feel like they need to. But um, I think we all go through rough points throughout the season. We all have our rough outings. So um, I th we still have faith in Chappie. His stuff's still really good. Um, obviously, he's going through a rough patch, but um, we have no doubt that he's going, he's going to work through it and, and be good to go the rest of the year.